Mr. Bezos, I ain't giving you none of my money. <laughs> Oi, vey. <laughs> you've, re you've read your monthly limit of three articles, your two articles. <laughs> oh, two sixty-five for eight weeks. Ah, crappy. So anyway, I, I wrote this on Twitter yesterday. Glad I canceled my WAPO subscription so I don't have to read crap like this. Okay? Okay, so what I forgot to do is uh, open in a new incognito window. Okay, yeah, I gotta do that because I, I, I'm not giving Mr. Bezos of Amazon any of my money so he can get even richer. He's the richest man in the universe and he wants, he wants my money. He wants my money, Dave. Look, look at my pants. They're ripped. Well, actually, I, you know, I think it's fashionable to wear ripped pants, but... <laughs> oh, get some light on me, too, here. Here we are. So, anyway, yeah, so uh, here's uh, Dan Steinberg. I like Dan. Dan's a cool guy, but some of his articles are just mush. Are just mush. Here's an article that, you know, Chris Cooley, who's now the morning man, former Redskin, who's the morning man there at... WTEM ESPN 980, you know, and he's apparently breaking news because, yeah, you know what? Chris has some connections in the Redskins, right? So some Redskins will call him up and say, hey, do you know that uh, so-and-so is leaving or, you know, oh, so, yeah, okay, so Chris does get the occasional scoop and all that, so, yeah, but here's, here's what makes me cringe about Steinberg, okay, is something like this. Cooley said that no one should worry about worry that the team will start feeding him every breaking news development. Instead, the news that so-and-so signed with the Redskins later Monday was broken not by Cooley, but by the Post's Mike Jones, who is still the number one source for news about the Redskins. And I'm not just saying that because he sometimes gives me candy. Yeah, oh, come on, man. I... Blah. I'm supposed to pay for journalism like that? That's journalism? Oh my god, it's just mush. It's not even worth linking to on... There's no bit... There's no news here. It's just... I guess Dan has to churn out a cop something for the online every day. And, you know, I guess he's just sitting there going, Oh, what do I write about it? Man, I don't know, man. This is the Washington Post... I, I, I just, you know, I, I canceled my subscription a while back. I can still see the whole stupid thing. They keep telling me I'm supposed to pay for it. But guess what? I can still see the whole stupid thing just by using Google's incognito mode. <laughs> I don't know, man. Oy vey. So anyway, whatever. So the big news today, well, Tony Kornheiser's unveiled his new podcast, so uh, that will be starting on the, uh, let's see here, where's my stupid damn website? I got to get the news off of that, right? Tony Kornheiser's got a brand new uh, podcast coming up. Tony left his radio show there on ESPN 980 back in June, taking his summer break as usual, and then instead of coming back to the station, he's now going to be pairing up with a company called Digital, dig, 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 media, whatever. And he's going to start, you know, and you got to pay for it. I don't know what the price is. I haven't clicked. Well, I could click on it and see. I don't know. I just never thought of clicking on it. <laughs> so here it is, the Tony Kornheiser Show by This Show Stinks Productions. And, uh, okay, there's a free download of uh, whatever that, yeah. Okay, so the, it's free. Um... At least the uh, first one, you know, the introduction he show. But, I, you know, I, I don't know. I'm sure there's a, you know, we'll find out what the, the rate is for that. The, again, does Tony really need to get richer? He's already a pretty rich guy as it is. Um. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. Brian Bolter. Brian Bolter has taken out an ad on DCR TV. So I'm going to be promoting Brian a little bit. He's a cool guy. I do like him. But he does. I really have enjoyed this. He does a show called Bottle Proof now. It's a series of YouTube clips. They run about four, five, six minutes. And here he's testing, taste testing a bunch of different cheap wines. Okay. Um, 
what were the wines this time? Sober Club. I don't know what kind of wine it was. He tests a bunch of cheap wine. Oh, Cabaret Sauvignon. I know nothing about wines. I'm a pretty much a vodka dude. So, uh, <laughs> but yeah, he, you know, hey, that's a cool gig. I'm going to sit there and test. I'm going to do that sometime. Dave TV, I'm going to test a whole bunch of vodkas. They'll have a whole bunch of different expensive vodkas out, little shot glasses, and oh, that's a good one. Mm, that's a good one. Oh. Well, anyway, so yeah, check Brian out. Brian Bolter used to be a major news anchor at Channel 5, gave it up to run a couple of these, uh, runs Dry 85 and the Red Wine Wine Bar, Red Red Wine, like, you know, the U240 song, UB40 song, Red Red Wine Bar over there in Annapolis area. So, uh, yeah, he's uh, really cool stuff. I Check him out and subscribe to his YouTube channel, which you can get the link on through my site. Also, Doug Hill, who's going to continue being the WJLA chief meteorologist, but he's also going to be heard on a regular basis doing the morning show there at Christian Contemporary WGTS 91.9. So congratulations to Doug on that new gig. And uh, so very cool with that. Got the latest radio ratings. Um, I don't know. You know, nothing really earth shattering for August. Um, I'm looking at the numbers. It, 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 you know, it's pretty much the same old, same old. Um, let me let me uh, make them bigger here so I can see them without wearing glasses. WAMU, WAMU, and WTOP are tied for first. Okay, so that's you know, TOP may be down a little bit. Um, they're, they're daytimers. They're back down to second place in morning drive. It's a little flippy flip. I really don't like those, I don't know what it is, long fence, long windows ads. They run these little barker things that come in after the weather. It'll be like, wah! It's some stupid little jingle that lasts a couple seconds. I really hate that. And every time I hear one of those, I just flip off the station. So if everybody else started doing that, maybe their ratings would drop down to third. I don't know. I hope so. And, and stop carrying that damn Vladimir Putin sub-channel Radio Sputnik there on their HD2. Come on, Hubbard. You're better than that, taking money from that guy. But, you know, Stanley Hubbard that owns Hubbard Radio, he's a right-wing creep. You know, he's a Donald Trump... Well, I'm not going to get into all that. He's a right-wing goofball. So you know who really owns T.O.P., you know? <laughs> Owned by a right-wing goofball, Stanley Hubbard. Anyway, WAMU is uh, first place, tied with T.O.P. No big changes there. H.U.R. is third. M.M.J. is fourth. You know, um, Russ Parr in the mornings, Donnie Simpson in the afternoons, both fourth place. A little bit of a drop there for Hot 99.5 in fifth place. Kane showing a little bit of weakness, but they've got a lot of competition. They've got PGC running right for them. They've got RQX running right for them. Wash is kind of gunning for them. So it's amazing. And, and Fresh, of course, 94.7. So they're doing pretty well with all that competition. Wash is sixth place, or yes, yeah, sixth place there with a um, with Lou in fifth. So Lou and Kane, they work right down the hall from each other. They're kind of looking at each other, going, "Who's who's ahead of who's ahead this month?" Ha! Huh? PGC with Joe Claire in the mornings comes in next. He's ninth. Station is seventh overall. Um, what else? Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. W Big is 8th, tied with uh, Fresh 94.7 with McFly at 8th, KYS in 10th. Their morning show, The Fam, is still not quite there in the ratings. They're 17th. MZQ is 10th, also tied with Kiss there. Um, uh, RQX. RQX is actually up. Here's a, here's It's pretty much up. Look at that, 12th place. They were 16th place in July, then they're up to 12th place in August. So I think they're, they're going up, whatever they're doing now, and I think... Um, what was it, Jason Kidd, who's um, doing the afternoons there? I think they're bringing in some sort of a mix of old and new, and they're, they're tweaking things over there. Bill Hess runs the station. I like Bill. He knows what he's doing. He used to run Wash way back when. So whatever they're doing there seems to be working. Um, Jack Diamond's show is still 16th place, though. Um, you know, it's actually probably holding back the station. If they had a new morning show, they might even do better. Hmm, Sarah Fraser, is she available? <laughs> Praise 94.7 is 12th place, tied with 12th there with uh, RQX. MAL 14th place again. I don't know, man. I'm getting sick of Ryan and Larry. Um, Rush is 6th place in afternoons and 15th place for the, the boring and crazy dull Michael Savage. Uh, DC 101, 15th place. GTS 15th. Uh, JFK 17th place. Junks in 12th. 
Um, tied with WETA FM, uh, El Zal at 19th place, and Sports Talk, uh, what is it, ESPN 980 there, Dan Snyder Station at 20th place, with Cooley in 20th in the mornings, and Zabin in 17th in the afternoons. So, they, you know, that's about it. There's not, nothing really, anything earth-shattering in these numbers. Pretty much the same old, same old. I guess the biggest news of the day would be um, RQX's jump a couple points there. They're showing some strength at the expense of Hot 99.5 primarily. So, you know, but that's not that big of a deal. So I, I don't think we're going to be seeing RQX flipping format anytime soon. A lot of people are saying they are going to go to some sort of a hip-hop classic format. I don't see that happening. I don't see Cumulus taking the risk now that their ratings for RQX are going up. So anyway, Washington is a dull market. It's a dull radio market. It's a very conservative, and I don't mean that in a political sense, market. It's very conservative in a programming sense. Um, People don't make big changes out of the, you know, out of the box here. It's all very sit back and tweak and watch things slowly do this. Okay, we, I can't remember the last time we had a, like a real brand bold new format introduced in the Washington market. It's been a while. <laughs> All right, folks, thanks for watching Dave TV, DCR TV edition. Don't forget, help support the site. Please, I need your money, Mr. Bezos. Please, you want me to send you money? How about you sending me some money, huh? I mean, come on, you gotta be, you know, I wouldn't miss it. A couple billion? You wouldn't miss it. Thanks for watching Dave TV. Book him, Dano.